Andrew Shields and Brett Butler on base. Tim Wallach, the single, scores Delino and Brett. Dodgers lead 2-1. Wallach moves to second on the Henry Rodriguez single, but is nailed by Kelly Snett as he tries to steal third. The fans think he's safe. Here come the balls. Come on, everybody. Let's get on the same page. A few spoil it for the rest of us. Game is stopped briefly. You know, you could be subject to arrest and ejection. Harsh? I think appropriate. Tommy Lasorda tries to iron things out. We move to the sixth. Raul Mondesi and Oral Hershiser on base. Delino, the liner. RBI single sends Gooden packing. The Dodgers take it. Oral beats Doc for the third straight time in the battle of former Cy Young winners. He struck out five and walked one. Mondesi, three hits and three runs. Phillies and the Giants. The wind howling the right field at the stick. Top of five, John Crook up. Liner to left center. Darren Lewis. Has yet to make an error in the major leagues. Nice catch, Darren. Danny Jackson on the hill for the Phils. Bottom of five. Strikes out Manwaring, then Torres, and then Lewis. Jackson strikes out the side. Top of eight, three one. Phils, two runners on. Darren Dalton. Swinging, dinging, and ringing up number six on the year. A three run shot. The Phils win it. Darren Jackson pitches a four hitter. He struck out six and walked three. He pitches his, uh, the 39th complete game of his career. For Gossi, Butch Hobson, whose grandfather passed away. We pick up the ninth inning, 5-4 A's. Eck faces pinch hitter Andre Dawson, hits near the triangle, and we are tied at five as pinch runner Lee Tinsley scores. The next batter, Eck facing Otis Nixon. The shot down the line, pinch runner Scott Fletcher scores. Sox come back to win it. Nixon was three for five. The Red Sox are now tied for the Blue Jays atop the AL East. The A's Stan Javier extends his hitting streak to 15 games. Stretch, pitch, and we see it, and yes, up, up, and away. Third of the year. This off Mark Williamson. 6-1 Angels, Bo, happy at home. Cal Ripken, long drive to left. Jim Edmonds, do a little dance, make a little glove. Super catch. Eduardo Perez, he hit one in the second, and this in the eighth. A three-run blast gone, 11 to two Angels. Bottom of nine, game out of reach, right? Wrong. Mike Butcher throws behind Mark McLemore. He's gone. Orioles scored five of the ninth. Butcher's antics must have worked. Angels held off the rally for the win. Rookie Brian Anderson gave up six hits and three runs in eight innings. Bo Jackson, two for three with four ribbies. Devereaux left the game in the fifth with a groin pull. 32 career homers, top first, no score. Murray from the left side, blasts the Pat Mahomes offering to right a three-run shot, 3-0 three Indians. Bottom six, 5-4 Tribe. Ken Herbeck on third after a couple of wild pitches. Rich Becker at the plate. Chopper to short, should be 6-4-3, right? But Bayerga can't turn the double play. Herbeck scores tied at five after six. Top seven, 5-5. Five, five. Eddie Murray from the right side. Takes Larry Cassian out of the park, 406 feet to left center. No plexiglass, remember. A two-run shot. Tribe wins 10-6. So Murray adds to his Hall of Fame stats. He sets the major league record for homering from both sides of the plate in the same game. Does it for the 11th time. Mickey had done it for no score. Man on for Danny Tartable. Tartable facing Chris Basio. Hanging breaking ball is a no-no to Danny. Pokes it down the left field line, fourth of the year, 2 0 Yanks. Top seven, now 2 1 Yanks. Mariners on first and second. Dan Wilson, the ground shot. Pat Kelly boots it, but Tori Lavello goes too far rounding second. Tito Martinez would get hung up between third and home. The M's run themselves out of the inning. Trouble in the field as well. Bottom of the seventh inning, 3 1 Yanks. Tartable, shallow fly. Brian Turan coming on. Felix Fermin going out. They KO each other. The ball drops in. Mattingly scores an insurance run. The Yanks win at 4-2. With the bullpen being a problem, Buck had to be thrilled to get his first complete game of the season. It had to be a bonus that it came from Perez. Basio went the off. Practice makes perfect. He gets another fastball. This one from Alex Fernandez, the third. Fists it in the left field. The ball drops in front of the diving Warren Newsom. Hamilton inspires score. Brewers lead two zip. And the White Sox would just run themselves out of the game. Top seven, man on first and third. Lance Johnson hits the ball. Back to Kel Eldred, who freezes Warren Newsom in between third and home. Easy play. Always run at him. And then he throws out Ron Karkovice at third. White Sox hit into four double plays. They lose. Phil Garner said he didn't mind watching these Sox come back. 
Scrap iron added. We're supposed to be entertaining. We're supposed to have people excited like that. On top of the first, Moise Alou singles up the middle off Wally Whiters. Clip Floyd and Marquise Grissom score two zip Spose. Bottom second, Padres get one back. Arky seeing Franco out of the yard is third of the year, two on Montreal. But the Expos show their power to open the fifth as Floyd pulls one out of the yard. This time to right for the bomb. 4-2 Expos next batter. Grissom the other way. You could say yard. Montreal up 5-2. They hold on to win 5-4. The pods now 3-14. and 14. That's uh, good for the worst record in the majors. They've already had losing streaks of 4-5 and now 3. I just think it's only April. Wally Whitehurst had...